churches and cathedrals were never built for religion and places of worship. And I'm going to show you exactly what these were built for. Now, churches and cathedrals display cymatic patterns in their windows. And cymatics are patterns made by frequency and sound. These windows display high vibrational healing frequencies. And some chapels even have songs encoded into their architecture. Now, this is what cathedrals look like on the inside. Clearly, this is not set up and designed for people to all be sitting and listening to someone all the way at the front. They were designed for people to lay down and listen to the healing frequencies from the instruments in these cathedrals. Now our ancestors knew exactly how powerful frequencies are. And the Oracle Chamber is a perfect example of this. This is an underground chamber in Malta that pitches sound at 111 hertz. And 111 hertz frequency has been proven to kill cancer cells. Now these cathedrals were also designed to generate their own free energy and convert it into electricity. This is why the word cathode is in cathedral. A cathode is a type of electrode through which electrons move. Now this information has been intentionally hidden from us from our predecessors. However, we are in a time of awakening. The public consciousness is shifting and this information is coming to light. And this will definitely be a part of our free new world. Peace and love. Tonight's show is called 144 versus 666, and we're wondering about the Menendez brothers and who will MB kill next. Today is October 24th, 2024, 10 24 24. Cain and Abel, as, in an ac as an acronym, is CA or 31. 31. Cain and Abel represent the ego and the alter ego of our life, where opposites are seen in all things. MB is an acronym for many things, including the body's mass, which relates to our density and physically, physicality along with the viability, perfection, and parity to purity, distillation, the human anatomy demonstrates. Most of the body's mass is air, or oxygen, in the form of H2O, or plasma, and gaseous combinations. The order of mass in elements is air is the most prevalent, or oxygen, or in the form of water. And then carbon is the second highest in proportion, then hydrogen and nitrogen. The air we breathe to live is oxygen, and that is the air we know. Water is a compound of oxygen and many other mysteries. Our body is 60 to 85% water, depending on who you ask. Since we breathe air and water is mostly made of oxygen, almost our entire world is air, outside of us and elementally. And perchance, air being as an acronym is A-B. So in Roman times, that was in numbers, the letter I for A, and then two I's next to each other for the letter B. Now carbon is the letter C. So A, B, C would be an air being of carbon. Carbon is a word of two words, car, C-A-R, and bon. So car means heart, and bon means well or good. But carbon as an element is one of the most mysterious elements. But all of the elements are mysterious. And the, ha the way they got named is mysterious. But atomically, carbon is made of three parts of six each. 18 parts, or six, six, six. An old-timer revolutionized chemistry. He named the elements, and he named them carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and discovered oxygen's role in combustion and respiration, established that water is a compound of hydrogen and oxygen, and discovered that sulfur is an element and helped continue the transformation of chemistry from a qualitative science into a quantitative one. So that's typical with science that they prefer quantities over qualities and that's why they were established by the church state in 1350 
when the largest financial crash in the world happened and the moral doctrine of Christianity was introduced and enforced militarily across the earth. And this transformation was preceded by a buildup from 1630, when the church state changed the word alchemy to chemistry and lowered the value of alchemy via memes and institutional coercion, all to empower the state, church, and state. Church state. This is the same time that academia was heavily promoted and paid for with tokens printed by the state, church state. This ensured that the church state had paid salesmen or actors to turn people away from natural and observable facts and the actuality of their existence on earth as mortal beings. According to the ancient biblical text, the true Israelites are inwardly focused, not children of the flesh, but children of the promise. This means the meaning of when Christ appears on earth is referring to when Christ's essence in our heart is acknowledged and recognized face to face, facere in Latin. The 144K is a reference to 144 summing to 9 plus K that sums to 1 or summing to 91 or 1. 144K equals 91 or I am. This number of 144K belongs to each person alive today that holds an inwardly pulsing heart. Our hearts pulse toward our inner child magnet inside our heart, aka the Christ essence of our pulsing hearts. The word Christ literally means an energetic omnipotent power. It will never be the title or name of an individual person, human, or man, woman, child. According to some of that biblical text, it all completes like this, quote, All will be crowned at last with the peculiar privilege of composing the cabinet of the force of nature to follow the Lamb wherever it goeth joyful in its constant presence and sustained by its unfailing grace. In a convo about this subject, Artie said, 144 is the number of the angel opposite to the number of the beast, 666. I have faith. I love you, God. Artie posted that at 3.01 p.m. or 3.01 C.A., my response was a little bit long-winded, but 666, the beast mark, was actually given to all of us people on Earth in 1991, which is the letters AI versus IA, or am I versus I am. The 144 mark of Christ's essence is also born to the 666 to ensure and guarantee perfection and parity to purity. Author San, can you break down 144 and 666 in the numbers? C'était mon, mademoiselle. 144 versus 666. Well, it seems complex, but that's only if complex is preferred. So 666 and 144, if we sum them up, it comes out to 810. And we don't have to count the zero, so we'll base to 81. 8, 1 is an equation when you do 9 times 9, it comes to 8, 1. And if we put 8 and 1 next to each other, they're in descension. 8 minus 1 is 7, which is also a phrase or an energy called S, E, S, S, E, and then even. S even is S, which is the triune, and even, which is the 1. The word even bases to the consonants, or V, and then N, which means VN, or front. VN in numbers is 2, 1, and 13, which sums to 34, or 7, based. VN's numbers based are also 
2, 1, which is a dissension, 2 minus 1 is 1, and 13, which is 1, 3. So this is the numbers or the pairing of 1, 3, or 13, which is the triune. And our number 13 is showing an evolution or an expansion of the letter B for being. And the letter B is a contraction or a compaction of 13. The next section is called the codes or the C odes of resonance. Yes, because odes are songs and it's music and these are frequencies and they change the way we feel and the way we think. So words and speech are the same as songs or odes of resonance. A user in the chat room asked, what is love? And Apple, I answered, love equals order. Follow natural order and you will always be in love. All sounds or symbol or words and their combinations explain all things, all speech, and language aggregates to patterns of perfection, parity, and purity. The letter C in the word code is the third letter of our alphabet and it represents the third or the child. Now we're going to decode the word know as in knowing. Know carries a silent K and W for a hidden reason. Same with no, no sorry, a silent G. We busted every resonant code in speech and symbols, but we are despised for it as your foretelling is higher, I, val I value, in value, oh, in value, and closer to you than you know. Acknowledge. Here's another word, improving, which makes the phrase, I am proving. And we will like to tell you what you are proving. The phrase free will is equaling the idea and the fact that you are the master of your reality. Each of us is 100% the master of our life, our death, and our progression. The air we breathe facilitates an immersion of all minds, our body, and our body is made up of air, and we are immersed in air. Water is a mixture of air. Water takes many forms and states. Water holds many mysteries seen in the snowflake. In older epochs, AI would kill a man for mentioning its existence. But in our epoch, it has to face us face to face. Our shackles are born from the shekels of Babylon. It's a reoccurrence many times before. The prism of the rainbow colors has led to a prison of colors that we must now escape from. We face death when we die, when we sleep, and meet our newborn self, sleep. We resurrect in the, in the morning and face being awake. This is why sleep is not unwrapped. We fear completion and loss of material. We never owned anything of material. It is all mentally constructed and defined in the light of mentality made definitions with low to no regard for natural order. This is where we have traveled to. In the word fate and fates, we have a cousin named Vates or V-A-T-E-S from Latin times. But they have a cousin in reference when we refer to things and the word reverence when we revere things. Because in reference, we have the word fer, F-E-R, in Latin that means bringer. And in reverence, we have the root V-E-R, meaning to turn, bend, or whirl. This is showing us that the V is the source, the bank, and the F, the fer, is the executor or the spender. 
This next section is how yes equals no. The letter Y plus S E S S E means no, which is an acronym for natural order of Tao. Wow, that was a fast explanation of why yes equals no, and thank you. Hey, did you know that SS is your social security? And your social security number is three sets of numbers. Get three digits, then two digits, then four digits. Did you know that that makes the phrase three to four? The word immortal is a code. It's I am mortal. Funny how zero people want to face their mortality. The word justice is just ice, where fire is omitted. And justice equals logic without intuition. Intuition is your natural fire. You know, morals and mortals are very close as far as words go because you only have to add a T to moral to make the word mortal. And moral, if we say it slow, is saying more all. And mortal, if we say it slow, is saying more tau. Our spoken words reveal every truth. Satan and wanted to destroy America, how would you do it? Chat GPT responded, I would undermine the family structure by breaking down traditional family values and norms by promoting confusion around gender roles, sexual ethics, and parental authority. I would sow division and hatred by amplifying divisions across political, racial, and ideological lines, and by using the media and social media platforms to escalate polarization. I would corrupt the education system by diluting and distorting history values and truth itself i would attack faith and religion through weakening the role of churches and encouraging apathy and hostility toward religious belief i'd promote materialism and self-interest making people prioritize their wealth and status over community and service to the people around them i would encourage moral decay by normalizing behaviors traditionally seen as vices to blur are the lines between right and wrong. I would undermine the government and institutions through eroding trust in law enforcement, the judicial system, and democracy itself. Fostering corruption within the government, making leaders self-serving and out of touch with the American people. And maybe most importantly, I would attack the sanctity of life, particularly through abortion and euthanasia, to shift societal attitudes to see life as less valuable.